let's talk about one of the best nutrients for improving your thinking, and that would be choline. Now, choline was once considered one of the B vitamins, but now it's considered kind of a standalone vitamin. But choline, which, by the way, is a kind of a lemon-tasting vitamin. You can even um, suck on them, and they taste like a, a little lemon drop. It's a required nutrient by your body because it's a primary building block of something called acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter for your brain. Neurotransmitters work like hormones, but instead of traveling through the blood, they travel through the nervous system. So it's involved in communication, as in improving new memories. It's involved in certain processes that influence reasoning, concentration, focus, cognition, which is understanding things, sleep, growing synapses in your brain cells, and coordinating movements, especially movements involving speed and accuracy. And there's some really interesting research on this. I'm going to put it down below of people taking choline and noticing some significant improvements in these right here. Now, if you're deficient in choline, you have a tendency to get brain fog. You have problems with attention and focus. You can even develop brain fatigue, decreased ability to learn things, memory loss, poor recall, get distracted easily, which is part of this right here, and becoming irritable. Other than that, you'll be pretty good. Now, the question is, where would you get choline in your diet? Number one source, beef liver. Just 2.4 ounces will give you 290 milligrams. Shrimp is a good source of choline. Four ounces provide 153 milligrams, but just one egg will give you 146 milligrams. I personally consume a lot of eggs. And then we have scallops. Four ounces of scallops will give you 125 milligrams. Now, there's a lot of other foods that will provide choline, including even leafy greens, but these are probably the best sources right here. And so if you have some of these symptoms right here and you want to improve these and you're starting to consume these foods or even taking choline as a supplement and it doesn't work, there's something else that is a requirement to make sure this works. And that is making sure that your diet is correct. You're avoiding certain things that deplete choline. And for that information, I put a link down below if you're new to my channel to know exactly how to do that. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.